Good morning and welcome to Saturday Psalm Things with Mats. Hi, I'm Mats, and today I have a very special guest once again. This is Jeff Tufford. I have known Jeff for 20 years and he's just amazed me with his knowledge, his portfolio, his friendship. So today we're doing the William Hill Estate Wineries from Napa Valley. And I'm excited to try these. So, Jeff, the show is yours. Great. Thanks, Mats. Thanks for having me. Hello, everyone. Good morning. You know, uh, let's start with what is William Hill Estate? You know, William Hill exists. His name is Bill Hill. He's the one that started this whole project. And Bill's brilliance back in the 1970s is he was a, vi a vineyard developer. So Bill, before Napa Valley was really in full swing, 80s and 90s, uh, started developing uh, mountaintop vineyards, seeking out and developing and planting mountaintop vineyards uh, throughout Napa Valley. So he's planted some of the most iconic, iconic vineyards in um, Diamond Mountain, Mount Veeder, and Atlas Peak. Then in 1976, uh, Bill planted uh, this current estate, this vineyard on the current estate, called William Hill Estate. It's at the base of Atlas Peak, so it's an area we call a bench because it's a real thin kind of plateau at the base of the mountain. What that fruit does for you uh, in the mountaintops and on the benches is the soils are poor. Okay, on the valley you get a little bit more fertile um, soils, so the grapes are, uh, develop a little bit larger clusters. On the mountaintops and the side, you have volcanic soil, you've got rocky soil, and you've got a little bit of clay, and you get really small bunches and really intense flavors coming out of these berries. So Bill discovered that early on and has been an outstanding vineyard developer. Jumping into modern day, uh, the winery is uh, ran by Mark Williams. He's our master winemaker. And uh, Mark has an entire lineup of wines. You can go to WilliamHill.com, William Hill Estate, and uh, has uh, excellent wines on his wine club as well. But today we're tasting the Napa Valley uh, uh, series of wines and our Benchland series of wines. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, you know, you have to have three things. You've got to have a visionary, a bill. You've got to have fantastic vineyards. You cannot make great wine without great grapes. It doesn't work that way. And you've got to have a mastermind like Mark to craft these wines. So. Okay, so the first okay, so. wine is... First wine is 2019 William Hill Estate, a Napa Valley Chardonnay. So, all starts with the grapes, as I mentioned. So, the primary grape source of this wine in Napa Valley is St. Helena, which is a little bit farther up valley, a little bit warmer. So, you get more tropical uh, notes right up front on this wine. Right. And then we bring in some Carneros fruit, which adds structure and acid, and a little bit of green apple, and then oak. Oak Knoll uh, Crossing Fruit, which adds structure to the wine. So that's the three areas that we source the wine, and then we age it for eight months in American Oak Barrels, which is the, uh, really one of the delineations between these two wines. And American Oak has a little bit wider grain than French Oak. So imagine the wine going in and out of these little grains in the barrel. You get a little bit, some really cool flavors coming out of there. Uh, you know, a little bit of praline, I mean a little bit of praline, a little bit, just a touch right. of, just a hint of like coconut things like that, and that's all from the American oak barrels. That's what make this wine unique. But overall, big, crisp, great acid, Absolutely. and well-balanced. That is the, the, the paramount factor here, well-balanced wine. So. I like it because right away I'm getting Meyer lemon. I'm getting a yes. little butterscotch. And the taste, like you said, is very crisp, slightly acidic, but really balanced. Well balanced yeah. mm -hmm. mm. And I think that's a good point on these wines, too. You know, there's a stereotype out there that California wines are just over bombs. oaked and butter bombs, and, and they can right. be. You know, that's a style that people do like, they enjoy, but uh, these are about balance. And it is 100% malolactic fermentation, yes. so you're going to get buttery, you're going mm -hmm. to get creamy, you're going to get elegance. I, I like it a lot, and I would probably be crazy, but pair this with fried chicken. That's, <laughs> that's exactly what I think, too. That's a good berry. It, I mean, it would just be beautiful. Yeah. So, that leads us to okay. number two. Number two is also... A Chardonnay from William Hill Estate. This is our 2016 Benchland series, or Bench Blend is what it used to be called, if you see that on the shelf. Benchland series Chardonnay. The differences between these two Chardonnays, a little bit more of a reserve Chardonnay, is again it's vineyard selection. So we start off with Carneros fruit here. So now you've got that green apple that's coming right. through. You've got the acid, you've got the, uh, the complexity that Carneros fruit brings. A little bit of St. Helena, a little bit of Oak Knoll, and a little bit of Coombsville. So you have, instead of a Chardonnay flavor that goes like this, have Chard Mark does Chardonnays that go like this. Peaks and valleys of flavors and, and a lot of accents. Uh, a little bit more oak here. We're doing it 100% French oak, so a little okay. bit more elegant, creamy style, sure. richer and ageable it because has of the structure. And, it has yeah. finesse and it has body and depth and layers. Like you said, you get 
coconut creams, butter creams, pralines, uh, sunshine in a glass. That's what <laughs> I call it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. mm. We'll I mean, you, you could pair this with anything. Well, yeah. Feel free. That's, that's yeah. mine. Sunshine in a glass. <laughs> it is just beautiful. Thank beautiful. you so much. Yeah, really elegant uh, and creamy. So, two fun Chardonnays. And ironically, from, from Napa Valley, um, which is Cabernet Country, right, we exceed at Chardonnays. That's, that drives okay. our portfolio. We certainly have an outstanding red portfolio, which we'll go into now, but Chardonnay uh, is the highest percentage of our sales, uh, interestingly enough, yeah. the Chardonnay fans out there. So, we'll move on to wine number three as 2016 Vintage. This is the counterpart to the first wine, William Hill Estate Napa Valley Cabernet. So once again, it's about fruit source. This is primarily sourced from the William Hill Estate, which is down in the southeast corner of, uh, of Napa Valley. So folks, those folks have been out there on Silverado Trail, and you have Atlas Peak. We're right at the base there. That's where William Hill is located. So uh, this, uh, this Cabernet Sauvignon, 100% Cabernet Sauvignon, by the way. It's beautiful. You get dark black currants and cassis, mm -hmm. black cherries, almond bark, Beautiful, beautiful yeah. nose, and the, the palate is just remarkable. And we age this in a combination of American and French oak, mm -hmm. primarily French oak. But uh, again, with those different grain, uh, grain choices that you have, it just adds complexity to the wine in layers, are very ageable. 30, and, uh, uh, 16 months, 33% new barrels. And what's really neat, I'm going to tell our viewers at home, mm -hmm. when you see the labels of William Hill on the bottles, that represents how the winery actually looks. Right. And here's a great view on the back patio, our veranda from the winery. You Looking west right there, you see the, uh, the Mayacama Range and Napa Valley in the distance. So it's gorgeous. Come out and visit us. Definitely a steak wine, uh, pasta, lasagna, something, sausage. Uh, you could even do this with schnitzel. <laughs> Veal that was a schnitzel call or yeah, chicken, so. pork, <laughs> you name it. You got it. This is just great. Awesome. Thank you. So the last one is... 2016 vintage as well, which was an epic year, by the way. 16 was mm -hmm. outstanding in Napa Valley specifically. So this is 100% from the estate. These are the best blocks, the best vines, the best rows that Mark uh, chooses for this one. Um, again, we only make uh, you know 1,500 cases on the Napa Cab, so this is about 1,000 six-packs roughly. Uh, but uh, it's all done in French oak barrels. A little bit more French oak, 16 months, and a little bit higher, 60% new barrels, so you get a little bit more nuance. But this one will age for 10 to 12 years. Easily. You know, this one's ready now, as you see, we decanted right, it. Right. But certainly you can lay this down if, you're, uh, if you like doing that 15, 20, 22 years. And speaking of one. which, so. show our viewers that beautiful decanter. Mm -hmm. Because at Argonaut, we sell decanters. And if you take the time, five minutes, to decant a wine, it just makes such an impression. It really opens up the wine and makes it so much more enjoyable. It does. And like I said, we sell decanters at Argonaut, very reasonably priced, and it does make a difference, and I think you're worth it. Yeah. I love this wine, by the way. <laughs> it is you. just fantastic. You're getting your brambles, your briars, your... Um, yeah, I got clove up front, too. A lot of clove, different sure, barrel spices black and things like that. It's super complex. Wonderful. Um, and what's nice, I'll let the viewers know, is that William Hill is, like you said, a visionary, but he does a lot of programs with Meals on Wheels. He's big in, out. in helping raise money for food and relief and donations. And the uh, Meals on Wheels program is just one of his best endeavors, I think, for his legacy. Right. And that's going to start up again in Colorado it is. next month. It is. So, you know, I commend him. Bill Hill is a real person. And it's just been such a nice lineup, Jeff. Thank you. Thank you. So come on down, like us, love us, keep watching. And if we're in the store, Jeff is in the store sometimes, I'm here. These are wines that can't be missed because they're, they're worth it and they're just so good. I'm getting choked up because <laughs> it's such a great lineup. And, you know, thank you again. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for because having me. it's just. Cheers, everyone. Have a great weekend. Been great. Thank you so much. Take care.